morning i am Neeraj kumar today i am going to discuss about increment and decrement operator the increment operator is represented with plus plus and the decrement operator is represented with minus minus increment and decrement operators can only be applied to variables and it cannot be applied to constant let's start with increment operator it is used to increase the value of variable y one it is equivalent to statement x is equal to x plus one that is add one to the existing value of x and assign the increased value in x we can write increment operator in following ways x plus plus it's called post increment or plus plus x it's called pre-increment we will discuss about post and pre-increment later above statements will increase the value of x by 1 let's take an example if x is equal to 10 then with using statement x is equal to x plus 1 or x plus plus or plus plus x the value of x is increased by 1 that is it is 11 initially we have taken 10 using any of these statements we can increase this to 11 now let's come on to decrement operator it is used to decrement the value of a variable by 1 it is equivalent to statement x is equal to x minus 1 that is subtract one from the existing variable uh, and assign the decreased value in x we can write decrement operator in following way x minus minus that is post decrement or minus minus x that is pre decrement above statements can be used to decrease the value of x by one let's take an example if x is 10 then by using a uh, statement like x is equal to x minus 1 or x minus minus or minus minus x the x value of x is decreased by 1 that is x is 9 let's run this example and verify the output we have taken two variables x and y and both are initialized with here we will in here we are increasing value of x and decrementing the value of y for incrementing of the value of x we are using plus plus x and for decrementing the value of y we are using minus minus y let's run the program and check out the answer here we are getting x is equal to 11 and y is equal to 9 that is the value of x is incremented by 1 from 10 to 11 and value of y is decremented by 1 that is 10 to 9 now let's return back to our slides and let's see uh, post and pre increment operator if plus plus is placed after the variable that is x plus plus it's called post increment if plus plus is placed before the variable that is plus plus x it's called pre increment the position of plus plus determines when the value is incremented that is x plus plus or plus plus x in case of post increment that is x plus plus the value of x is used in the expression first and after that the value of x is decremented let's take an example x is 10 and y is assigned with x plus plus in this case it's post increment so initially the value of x is assigned in y then the value of x is increased that means y will be assigned with 10 and x will be 11 so the output is x is equal to 11 and y is equal to 10 in case of pre increment that is plus plus x the value of x is increased first and the value of x is used 
and after that the value of x is used in the expression let's take an example x is equal to 10 y is equal to plus plus x in this case first the value of x is incremented that is from 10 to 11 and then it is assigned to y so y will be 11 and x will be 11 so output is x is equal to 11 y is equal to 11. let's now come on to post and pre decrement operator if the minus minus is placed after the variable it's uh, called post decrement when it is placed before the variable it's called pre decrement and the position of the minus minus determine when the value is decremented in case of post decrement the value of x is used in the expression first after that the value of x is decremented for example x is equal to 10 and y is equal to x minus minus in this case first value of x that is 10 is assigned to y and then value of x is decremented that is y is equal to 10 and x is equal to 9 so output is x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 10 similarly in case of pre decrement minus minus x the the value of x is decremented first after that the value of x is used in the expression for example x is equal to 10 y is equal to minus minus x in this case first the value of x is decremented from 10 to 9 and then it is assigned to y so the value of y is 9 and x is so the output is x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 9. Let's run this example and verify the output. Let's edit the program. Here we are assigning the value of x in y after incrementing it. And here simply we are printing the value of x and y. In this case, initially the value of x is incremented, that is from 10 to 11 then it is assigned to y so x and y both will be 11 let's compile it and check the answer so here we are getting x is equal to 11 and y is equal to 11 now change it and use the post increment operator again compile the program what should be the expected output here x is equal to 10 here initially the value of x is assigned to y as it is post decrement increment so y will be having value 10 then the value of x will be increased so x will be 11 and y will be 10 now check the answer So here we are getting x is equal to 11 and y is equal to 10. Now check it, check out the decrement operator, first pre decrement operator. Compile the program. Here what is the expected output? Here value of x is 10. Initially we have to decrement the value of x, then assign it into y. So it's 9, 9 will be assigned to y. So both x and y should be. 9 check the output here value of x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 9 and at last check the post decrement operator compile the program in this case value of x is initially assigned to y that is 10 and then x value of x is decremented that is x will be 9 so output will be 9 and 10 compile it and check the output so here we are getting value of x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 10 that's all for now thank you